Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 16th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our amazing sun images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, showing the last two days of imagery. No major solar flares or Coronal mass ejections thwarted our way, but we do have numerous sunspots that are Earth-facing, and as well plasma filaments that we're keeping an eye on. Look at that huge solar prominence there, and as well plasma filament destabilizing, ripping and circling back into the surface of the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, again, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections thwarted our way. So we're kind of in the clear, but still a massive sunspot region and as well quickly forming sunspot region in the equator has a, me a little bit concerned. Closer look there at that plasma filament eruption and as well last few images there showing pretty strong C-class solar flare. Might even be an M-class solar flare. Big coronal hole in the northern hemisphere right now and as well one turning away. And watch on the top left-hand side, you'll see plasma filaments spinning and dancing around the surface of the sun. And then in the opposite region, in the south of the sun. Look at right here, solar tornado there, plasma tornado. And then in the southern hemisphere, same thing, just racing around, getting ready for an earth-facing party. Showing here 171 angstroms, amazing images of our sun the last two days. Solar cycle 25, putting on quite a show. Seeing multiple X-class solar flares, multiple M-class. And right now we have eight sunspot regions Earth facing. Closer look here at some pretty big and active sunspot regions in fluid motion, time lapse sped up a little bit there just an amazing sunspot region there look at that wow and massive probably about 10 earths long current space weather conditions there are none to speak of but solar winds are coming in at 460 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux showing two minor m-class solar flares from those sunspot regions turning in that are pretty active so stay tuned notified here with daily events worldwide geomagnetic activity did hop up on the forecasted day of the 15th so yesterday having a look here at the ISWA space prediction spiral see me taking off towards the osiris apex satellite got mercury and venus swinging around the planet or swinging around the sun and that's visible here on Lasco 3 and as well that coronal mass ejection that was not Earth directed from the plasma filament in the southern hemisphere of our sun. As you can see Mercury coming around the back side of the sun, getting ready to come around to the front side of the sun for Mercury retrograde in a couple weeks. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. Things have picked up quite a bit. 6.0 magnitude earthquake here in Peru off the coast. So no major communities or lives being affected there and no tsunami. But some pretty deep earthquakes there through Chile and as well notable for 0.4 there. Colombia, Puerto Rico is quiet. White City, New Mexico is seeing a minor swarm. Notable activity here at Searless Valley, California, 3.3. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about across California, but still have a lot of minor tremors that are bubbling all the way up the west coast. 4.8 earthquake there, Russia. And as well off the coast of Japan and Pagan region, Northern Marianas Trench, 4.8. Pretty deep for the trench. And then we had three deep earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Deepest being the 567 kilometer depth, followed by 4. Uh, 499 and a 494. Activity across Papua New Guinea, 
Philippines and Indonesia, 4.8, 4.3 earthquake there. Western Tibet, Kashgar, China, and as well, notable earthquakes here today in Georgia. Oni, Georgia, 4.2, and as well, reporting a 4.4, 4.3 there, right along the Arabian Plate. Other than that, not too much to talk about, but south of Australia yesterday did see a 6.0 magnitude earthquake. Macquarie Island region in between Antarctica and New Zealand. Showing right there, this is the last two days for earthquakes. And this is the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Most of the activity west of the Ring of Fire and as well a little bit in the southeast. Most of the activity has been here, increasing activity towards the Antarctic Plate. Notable activity through the Atlantic as well. Wait for something to come into the north, either through the Atlantic or through the Cascades, still on warning. Now I wanted to share here with you lightning strikes across North America. This is showing the last 40 or no this is showing the last 24 hours and right now it's about 100 strikes per minute as we've got some very stormy conditions very warm air moving up into north america along with some long-lasting cold air in the north but look at all these lightning strikes through the gulf of mexico four states being affected there big storms heading through moscow parts of western russia about 70, likes, 70 strikes per minute there. And then in between Australia and New Zealand, waves of moisture and as well lightning strikes. We are, we're seeing a very energetic atmosphere right now across the world. And it's about to get hairy, especially for weather, extreme weather and possible tornadic conditions across central plains of the United States and as well Canada. All this week, each day, these storms are going to be flaring up as it gets warmer throughout the week. Extreme hot and dangerous temperatures here forecast for North America. Watch through the Central Plains midweek before that heads up into Canada. And then by that time, you've got a tropical storm getting ready to make landfall. Forecast here to make landfall Tuesday into Wednesday quite possibly Wednesday to Thursday, as this is still just an area of interest, but it could be a very strong and moisturous tropical system here, sweeping across southern Mexico, parts of Guatemala. Other than that, no major hurricanes here forecasted with Windy.com, but some extreme weather is definitely on the doorstep here all across North America, especially up into the Canadian prairies, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of new storm chasers up there chasing wild tornadoes. We've seen over 800. This is now the second numerous tornado um, counts in history uh, that they've been recording. So our last major tornadic event was back in 2011. And now in 2024... We're already seeing upwards of 900 tornadoes this season. Second highest recorded so far. Massive cloud tops here heading across the southern gulf into Guatemala and Ecuador, Nicaragua. Wow. Having, here, having a look here at satellite imagery, as you can see, disturbance one, they're calling it right now. But potential for development, 70% in the next seven days. So definitely going to see a storm develop, just a matter of what category. We also have an invest low here, 90E, off the west coast of Guatemala. So lots of moisture here. So heads up all across southern Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, even into Panama. Some very intense rains here forecasted and looking across the pacific ocean right now there is cloud cover stretching right from japan 
to southern Washington right now. Look at this. Cloud cover straight across the Pacific Ocean. Massive amounts of cloud cover right now. And it's been days upon days of rain for the BC coast. And it's eventually going to sweep southward. It's going to bring in some very wild weather. So heads up, everybody. Much love. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.